Welcome, this is Danish, the founder of jobskillshare.org and today I'm very excited that we are releasing AI Lab Exercises tool to our members. Our members, like members and premium members will have access to this tool with no cost, no additional cost. And this tool is an answer for people who want to build more confidence, challenge themselves, learn more practical exercises, and whatever comes into your mind when you are reading or learning our labs or courses or roadmaps, and it's already the most hands-on experience provided on internet, but we are taking it to the next level. And let me demonstrate that first. So the first thing is, of course, you need to be a light and premium member. On the left side, you will see this feature will be available right here. But I want to start with a warning. This is not going to be a feature for someone who is just brand new to IT or even our membership. Because if you don't know how to access the lab, you don't know how to use the labs and you just go straight into this tool, then you're looking for trouble because then you're dealing with real systems and you need to know, you need to be confident on these labs. So it's not going to be uh, something that you should take on as you become a member, like you're a new member to this platform. My recommendation is first go to the roadmap choose the roadmap if you want to become an IT support professional or want to enhance your skills in the IT support world or you're looking for a job or you're you got a job and you just want to learn more technical skills then the IT support modern IT support roadmap is the way to go you're going to come over here you're going to click on it and then basically you will finish the roadmap and once you start the roadmap this is where you can then utilize this tool even further because like I mentioned there's a lot of labs that you have to do in sequence now, the labs, the exercises, the courses, the material that you see in here is designed by experts with more than 10 to 15 years worth of experience in IT. So this is going to be the way to learn correctly. I will remind people again that if you are learning skills, you just can't jump and skip things. And this is where a lot of people find themselves in trouble when they do that. So be patient. This takes time. but you spend let's say two to three months the correct way to save many many years of uh you know hurdles and stress in this career so let's get started with the flow over here so as i mentioned uh it support roadmap is recommended for every single individual that joins our program uh, or the membership and basically this is for someone to just quickly go over and if you have more skills and you know this is a piece of cake for you then you will move to more advanced roadmaps but you cannot skip things so you still have to review things. So once you come over here and let's suppose you started the modern IT support roadmap over here. This is the first course. You went in and this is how we have designed this course. Let's suppose you went to the introduction. This is all basic. And this is why I said that you can't just start this tool immediately because the, the lab information is provided in, in our most of our courses in, in the early stages. So it tells you how to access the lab how to get the support how to use or control the passwords and everything like that so that's important right there so you are going to go through that stuff just to to go through this into information if you're brand new if you have done it then that's fine now you see when you start our courses there are going to be a lot of career informational stuff which is very important again learning goals what is network and this is where things gets technical right what is network and when you come to our courses we have done a lot of work to make sure that we don't miss anything because that's like a, an expert with experience teaching more than 10 years we know what kind of issues people come across so we come we add things to our courses so for example if you get, click on OSI layer you see that we have video one it's a one hour video it's a very important lecture so everything has to have a theory and making sure that you get the point and then there's a part two where there are troubleshooting and then there's a knowledge check quiz which we you use these type of different type of learning methods so you can get uh you know hold of the the whole skills learning in the beginning in a more theory way and then you get into the labs right and this is how this is how we have been doing it and why people like it because it's so hands-on so once you go in there there's going to be a lab and then you go to chapters and chapters have tickets and labs and everything like that now why do we need an ai lab exercises on top of what we already have well when you are reading something when you're going through something it's it's done it's already done by an individual so for example if i click on windows os 
Now there's a chapter video, then there's our video. We have done like, you know, partnership with other platforms. So you can see we have a lab and this is our video defining the project. The question is, what if you, what if you're doing this specific topic and you get stuck somewhere? Or let's say it's not there. Like you, you, yes, we did our job to cover it in 25 minutes, but there's something that's annoying you at this point inside this chapter. And, and you are like, okay, I need to get something going on here. I can't get passed through this and, or I need more practice. So let's say, for example, if let's say Active Directory account is something that you want to do more practice. And that's, I'm just assuming that you, you're, you're, that this is bothering you. Well, Active Directory is going to come in our courses too, but let's say this is bothering you or some other thing, RDP or anything that is bothering you at this point. And you have done the, orientation labs what you are going to do you're going to go back to your ai exercises and open the lab exercises and depending on your access so if you have like membership you can actually use this with all of these devices and you can still do a lot of labbing but if you're a premium member you have access to all of these devices because you have premium labs available to you and that's a lot of labs so if let's say for example we're going to use the the sandbox so everybody can do this and you come over here and you, can, you know what i need some help with Active Directory account with that type exercise and make sure that you copy this information to make sure that even when you're creating a, a, your own exercise, it sticks to the labs that are available in this specific, uh, you know, access. So my available, uh, like, you know, you can just type it like that. My available devices are just copy paste that. And then create an exercise. So let's see what it creates for us. And this is the, the power that I'm showing you that how you can instantly make something based on your basically having, uh, you know, thoughts about it. So here, look at it. It's, it created a step by step exercise login to PLABDC01, which is your domain controller. It already know that using the administrator credential. And this is why I say that you have to go through our courses and you know uh, orientation labs and to make sure what is the administrator credentials because you're going to get stuck if you're new and you're like okay what am i doing over here that's why i mentioned in the beginning that that's important f format that you need to follow then it says open server manager and navigate to active directory user and computers right click so it gives you exactly step by step information and even telling you the names and everything and then it tells you uh, assign any necessary groups so this is exactly what we do in our in our courses right we spend 10 to 15 minutes just to show you this stuff and right now in few seconds you have the whole exercise available to you now that's not only it the ai can even help you further than that so let's say for example you are at um you know let's let's talk about this specific one uh here step number five like you're like you're, you're like okay i i don't understand what do you what do you mean my group uh i need help with step five even if you just type step five it's going to go back in there and it's going to understand what are you talking about like you know specifically about the exercise in step five after entering the user details you need to assign any necessary groups membership and it further explaining to you now you can continue your talk with ai till you get the point now this is it can't get better than this i mean it's like a real in instructor with a powerful labs now available to you instantly without you waiting so much so when i say that it's going to enhance your confidence it's going to enhance your skills training and it's going to enhance your um you know um uh, lessen your stress level at work because if you already have a job then this is a perfect tool for you as well to come on in and just you know ask whatever you want to ask related to these devices of course it cannot go out of it like if you say uh, help me with azure account it's not going to do that because Azure is not available. To open these lab, it's a simple same process that you have been doing in the portal. Whenever, whenever you click on the lab, it opens it, but here it will open directly the labs that are available here. So let's go ahead and click on open lab. And it's going to go out and immediately open the lab without you signing in or anything. And you see the, the sandbox just opened up. The left side you're going to ignore because you're using your lab exercise, AI exercise. So whenever you ignore the left side, and it's nothing there you're not using the the left panel uh, exercises it's not going to be supported by anyone jss or a practice lab the only support you can get is through these devices if devices are not working if the connections are not working or something like that is happening then you can definitely reach out to the support right here but please do not reach out for the ai exercises no one's going to know what these exercises are about these are all to help you but at the same time it cannot be uh, supported because it's ai generated 
So you're going to go ahead and turn on all these devices and just follow this exercise that you have available and same for any other labs. So on the bottom, for people who are looking for jobs, we also have in the exercises, like the custom exercises that you make will have something like resume tips and it gives you more information. Like how do you actually use this on your resume? So you can get a lot of tips from here as well, which is really, really powerful stuff. And if you want to clear the chat, you can clear the chat over here. If you click on complete exercises, that window will go away and you're completed. And then you can use this on your resume. You can talk about it. This is just one example that I just showed you, right? If you feel like you need some examples, you can click on the example. There are some examples right here available. There's info available. So make sure you're like, you know, whenever you're making exercises, you need to give this lab devices uh in your box uh, if it's a custom uh you know request by you because you don't want it to go out and figure things out too much uh, it's still not uh, highly tested on these devices so it can go to another device and then you'll be lost so always give that if you want to do a random exercise you already know about these these devices so you see it went out there and it says okay random exercise go ahead and create this now i want you to try random exercises because if you do random exercises and you are able to do these exercises you know what here's the thing a lot of people think that they're not ready for the job right and most of them keep question questioning themselves about if I'm ready or not, if I'm ready or not, go ahead and try these random exercises. And the more random exercises you do, and even if you do it 40 to 50 percent, 40 to 50 percent, as I'm saying that if, let's say, something is not capable, like the exercise is created, but you're not able to do it, that's fine. You don't need to do the 100 percent. No mastery is required over here. Nobody is expecting a master to go and um, go and go after these jobs because that's going to be a job where somebody will specifically say that please do not apply, entry level is not accepted, experiences must, 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 must. And even if you go in and they will tell you like, okay, we, we are looking for experienced individual. But most of the IT jobs are not like that. They are not looking for someone who is a master of every single thing. Nobody can be a master of everything in IT. So if you can do these exercises 40 to 50%, you're actually ready for any IT job. And this is why I say it's so powerful because when you create a random exercise, it's exactly like a real interview, real technical interview, real job, a real ticket, just out of nowhere, it comes up in front of you because in the company, you're going to get things related to your products. In most cases, if it's outside of your product, you don't even support it. You don't even know about it. So how are you going to do that? Here, you know, your product is what? These are your product. Everything that will happen inside is going to be here. That's going to be domain, active directory, connections, uh, file permissions. So if your random exercises are not giving you a lot of good uh, things that you want to learn, so of course you can go back to the box and, and say, I want to test me on file permissions and things like that. So it's going to create exercises based on that. Now, that is just for the sandbox. You can see we got Linux here. So for Linux lovers and they want to get into cybersecurity, first they want to fix their Linux, they can come over here. Then they can get to cybersecurity and you got this Kali and all these devices available there. So you could start random exercises in cybersecurity. And let's go ahead and see what we get. So you can see how powerful this thing is. It's going to go back and say, basically, it's telling you that we want to identify the IP address of the target web application within the lab environment. This and then you can go ahead and use these tools if it's available. So if it's not available, don't worry about it. Like I said, this is not that something that we we will 100% make sure that all these tools are going to be available. You can download it online if it's available. Um, but exercise is there. If you have your own virtual box, you can actually use it on that as well. But most cases, it's going to be there and you can try it out. Now for Windows sysadmins, they want to learn about new server 2022, domain controllers, domain members, DHCP, DNS, all that sort of stuff is available here. Windows 11, somebody asked me about Windows 11, uh, you know, training. So there you go. Windows 11 is available. You can even tell it that just create exercises for Windows 11. I want to master Windows 11. I'll keep creating Windows 11 exercises for you. And some people ask for networking. Here you go. You got real Cisco devices available. It can't get better than this, to be honest. Like if you have all the things connected together like a company and then you have server, you can use PuTTY. You can use so many different exercises right here. By creating a random exercise over here, it can create a whole networking. And if I, let's say if I'm a manager, to be honest, I'll just come over here and use this tool and create a random exercise and give it to someone if I'm looking for even basic level skills, I'll just say, you know, 
can you do 40 to 50 percent of this exercise on these devices and boom and and if i will say yeah you can use a chat you can use a chat if you want because that's what we do in, in real world i want you to have some sort of capability to get answers quickly and get it done so here you go you can use the, this ai and if you can do it you do it that's that's why i want you to use ai because that's the future we are going to be using ai all over and there you go you got it right there so i want you to definitely as a member use this tool this is powerful tool it, it cannot get better than this it cannot get more efficient and faster than this and this will be used in all of our trainings in even in our courses we're going to be using this sort of techniques to make sure we tell our members that ai is going to be there it's going to be a part of your job if you want to go in and you learn ai then this is the way to do it right now because you're going to learn the prompt so good that everywhere you're using whether microsoft ai or some other ai or this AI or data you will know the prompts and that's how you need to do things in AI now for now. Later, we will also discuss how AI is integrated in some of the product level. So you're going to be doing more troubleshooting in AI. That's for later. But now this tool is for you to come over here and get that confidence. If you have any questions, comments or anything like that, let us know what you think about it. Thank